This is an exponentials and logarithms question. Give it a go first, see how far you can get. If you get stuck, then look forward through the video to my hints for at the beginning of each part of the question. So for part one, you want to think about how you can deal with this minus sign, what rule you can use to get rid of that. And then you want to think about how can you get rid of the logarithms? So what would you have to do to both sides of the equation to get rid of the logarithms? So the first thing that we would do is use the division rule. So we can change that minus into a divide and then get rid of the, the two logarithms. So this becomes log to the base three of three B plus one all over a minus two is equal to minus one. And then we can get rid of the log by doing three to the power of both sides. We get three B plus one all over a minus two is equal to three to the power of minus one or one over three. We can then rearrange that equation. So the left hand side, so multiply the top here by three, multiply this by a minus two and we end up with 3 times 3b plus 1 is equal to 1 times a minus 2. So 9b plus 3 is a minus 2. And then we rearrange for b. So 9b, bring the 3 over. So 9b is then equal to a minus 5. And so b is then equal to a minus 5 over 9. So on to part two. So this, if you are stuck on this part, what you want to think about is that this is a hidden quadratic. There is a way that you can rewrite this as a quadratic. So that's what you want to think about. You want to think about how can I rewrite this as a quadratic? You want to be using some of your power laws, your indices laws that you would have learned at the beginning of um, your first year of A-levels. So the first term, the 2 to the power of 2x plus 5, I can use this rule. I can use the rule that x to the power of a plus b can be written as x to the power of a, x to the power of b. And the left-hand side then becomes 2 to the power of 2x, 2 to the power of 5. Well, I say left-hand side, I meant just this part. So then we can then also split this bit up, the 2 to the power of 2x, using this rule. If we have x to the power of a to the power of b, this is the same thing as x to the power of ab. Which then, if a and b are multiplied together, it doesn't matter what order they're in, we could also write this as x to the power of a all, sorry, x to the power of b all to the power of a. So this term here we can then rewrite as 2 to the 5 is 32, and the 2 to the power of 2x I can write as 2 to the power of x squared, and that's just using this last rule here, minus 7 times 2 to the power of x. And if you didn't get to this step, and you think you can solve it from here, give it a go. Shouldn't be too hard from here. So this is your quadratic. So... If I were to say let y equals 2 to the power of x, then this will become 32y squared minus 7y is equal to 0. I can factorize out the y. And then I can solve. So y is equal to 0. 32y minus 7 is 0. So that gives us y is equal to 7 over 32. So y is equal to 2 to the power of x. So then this tells us that 2 to the power of x is 0 and 2 to the power of x is 7 over 32. This can't be true. 2 to the power of x can't equal 0 and we can see that from first of all the graph. The graph of 2 to the power of x looks like this where this point right here is 0, 1 and then the graph uh, as you go towards the left the y coordinate gets closer and closer to, to zero but never actually reaches it. This here we can solve. So if we were to do log to the base 2 of both sides, log to the base 2 of 2 to the power of x, 
log to the base 2 of 7 over 32, we end up with x is equal to the right hand side, which if you type this in your calculator gives minus 2.19. And that will be our final answer, x is minus 2.19.